Mental health is a big issue in today's world. A lot of factors play into it. Recently, many things have been happening in the world that could affect someone's mental health in a negative way. <laughs> many people struggle with mental health, but in the most respectful way possible. I believe that athletes struggle with mental health the most, especially student athletes. In 2021, the American College of Sports Medicine found that 30% of female and 25% of male athletes have reported having anxiety. It also found that 35% of elite athletes suffer from disordered eating, burnout, depression, and anxiety. It's sad that in sports, mental illness is overlooked because many people think that every athlete is content with their position in life when in reality some students some student athletes are going through a tough time and they might not have someone to talk to they might not have they might they might not want to open up to anybody and it's sad to say but because of this many athletes have committed suicide at a very young age because of depression and many other things as well this problem has also occurs within pro athletes to help out with this problem, I believe that every school should have a mental health program that has counselors to help assist regular students and student athletes. And I also think that these programs should be separate because a student athlete has it harder than a regular student. And I'm not saying that a regular student doesn't have it hard, but a student athlete has it just a little bit harder because a student athlete has to deal with school, homework, exams, all while they have to be perfect in their own sport. And they might also have to work too. Like, for example, I know somebody that had a kid and he still played sport and went to school. It's just, it is what it is, but all that could take a toll on someone and some people can handle it and some people can't, and that's okay. They just need to get the help that they need and everything will be fine. Athletes may present with changes in sleeping, eating patterns, frequent mood swings, and aggressive behavior or physical symptoms such as feeling sick before practice. And here are some of the factors that could lead to this. Student athletes have to deal with many things while they're in school and while they're in competition. Student athletes have to carry a lot of weight on their shoulders. For example, they have to worry about <clears throat> keeping good grades in order to stay eligible to compete in their season of competition. In season, a student athlete needs to be actively enrolled in 12 units. And the athlete might not, might have a job on top of having schoolwork and practice. One person having to <clears throat> maintain these three things is very difficult, but again, it's not impossible. This can cause lack of sleep, which could lead to other mental illnesses. I'm also a student athlete myself, and although I'm not at a Division One program, I still know the challenges that an athlete has to face on a daily basis. This season was my first season of competition, and I had to be actively enrolled in 12 units to stay eligible, and it took a huge toll on me, and I'm at the JUCO level. I can only imagine what it's like to be at a Division One level where they have to wake up at like 6 a.m. every day and go through meetings, go through workouts, go through a lot of stuff. And I know it takes a huge toll on them. And right now I'm at the lower level, which it still takes a huge toll on me. I'm not going to lie. But every athlete should get their rest. To be well rested, a, a regular person should get around eight hours of sleep to be ready for the next day. But as a student athlete, after practice, you may have to finish homework or even study for that big exam, which could take up a huge amount of your time. Or for example, in football, after practice, you may wanna watch film on the other team just so you can be prepared for the game. In 2021, the American College of Sports Medicine found that 30% of female and 25% of male student athletes 
have reported having anxiety. It also found that 35% of elite athletes, which is the best of the best, suffer from disordered eating, burnout, depression, and anxiety. People don't realize what some of these athletes have to go through. And in most cases, the athlete doesn't open up to anyone because they just, they're scared to, or nobody knows the real reason why, but they have to deal with the, deal with these things on their own, which isn't the best idea at all. <clears throat> we have talked about some reasons why athletes struggle with mental health, but here are some different mental illnesses that these athletes have to deal with. For example, Michael Phelps, one of the most decorated Olympians in history, spoke about his own struggles with mental health, substance abuse, and depression. This shows that even the best of the best can struggle with the worst. And if the best can struggle with the worst, then that means I'm not saying that the worst can struggle with the worst, but a regular person can st still struggle with the same thing because we're all human at the end of the day. We're still gonna, we all, we're all built the same. In 2022, research shows that suicide rates have shattered any previous statistics only four months into the year. <clears throat> These rates have tripled the yearly average for female college athletes alone. And it's sad to say because recently we've been seeing a lot of female athletes commit suicide. We don't know if it was because of mental illness or because of other reasons but it's just sad to say that these athletes are just committing suicide and because they're not getting the help that they need major depressive disorder or major depression <clears throat> is a characterized by a combination of symptoms that interfere with the person's ability to work sleep study eat and enjoy pleasurable activities. <clears throat> so you can see why this would really affect an athlete. Another thing that I really want to talk about has to be CTE because CTE is a real thing and it can really mess up an athlete in many ways that nobody can really explain. For example, a Washington State quarterback, Tyler Helinski, committed suicide following his junior year an autopsy revealed that he has stage one CTE, which it sucks because at the time he probably didn't realize that he has CTE, but the effects that it gave him caused him to commit suicide. In conclusion, at the end of the day, we should focus on athletes more because of their heavy workload. It's sad, to, it's sad how some student athletes resort in taking their own lives because of depression and other mental illness that affect them in a negative way. If you are going through anything such as anxiety or depression, I advise you to go talk to someone because that's the only way.